This is Chip Bayless reporting live from the Players Park today here at U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, Arizona. It's three hours until tip-off for the much-anticipated matchup between the Phoenix Suns and the L.A. Lakers. We've received an anonymous tip that Kate Spade will be arriving here any minute for a pre-game shoot on such a big thing, pushing LDs and sliding around, really doing your thing, you are triple sneak. This appears to be him now. K-Spade, K-Spade, big game tonight against the Los Angeles Lakers and Kobe Bryant. Can you tell us, are you worried at all about the matchup? Well, no. I mean, why would I be worried about the matchup? First of all, look, it's not a matchup with me versus Kobe Bryant. It's the Suns versus the Lakers. It's a regular game. Well, can you tell us, what does the win tonight mean for your team moving forward? <laughs> it means we got one more win. You guys are making this game bigger than it really is. It's a regular season game, man. I'll talk to you after the game. Well, I see you got on your lucky shoes. Well, you heard it, folks. Reporting live from Phoenix, Arizona. What's up, world? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube Rookie of the Year. And, oh my God, y'all! Every athlete has that one sports analyst, or that one sports reporter, a sport journalist that just won't give them a break. I mean, buzzing around like a damn fly to cookout. And for me, it's Chip Bayless from the local network GSPN. This guy has been reporting on me since I was playing football in high school. I don't know what it is about me, but this guy really doesn't like me. He gives me a hard time in the papers. He gives me a hard time on TV. And look at this. I get to the arena three hours early. And who beats me here? Chip. Who the hell is giving this guy my... You know what? I'm going to go through my click, my homeboys. I'm going to find out who's running their mouth and his ass is out of here. Back to your mama's house. But anyway, I mean, I wanted to try to get some jumpers in, get in a rhythm early, because even though I'm telling Chip this is a regular game, let's keep it 100. This is Kobe Bryant. Do I want to come out here and have a bad game against Kobe? No, because I'm going to tell you, Kobe not only plays hard, but he don't ever shut up. He's a trash talker. And I'm a trash talker too. So, I mean, talking trash really don't work if you're playing like shit. So, I really want to come out and get my game going. And also, I got two new teammates this game, and I wanted to try to get some chemistry with Dante Jones. I mean, this is NBA 2K12, so almost every time you hit play next game, you got new teammates. I mean, that's a reoccurring theme out here in NBA 2K12. So, Dante Jones met me at the arena three hours early, and I really felt good. I mean, the jumpers was falling, and even though that feels good, it's not changing the fact that I got some pregame jitters. I don't get nervous about the game, but this is Kobe. I grew up watching this guy. And even though I talk trash about him wanting to be like MJ, what NBA player, what ball player, not even NBA, you can go all the way down to middle school basketball players. What basketball player can honestly say he doesn't respect Kobe's game? Seriously. So I come out and I make the first basket of the game. It does wonders for my confidence. It also helps with the jitters. The jitters are gone at this point and it's game time. So I am a little concerned about matching up with Kobe. You see how quick he ran right by me? Oh my goodness. But like I said, this is my first game with J.J. Hickson and Dante Jones. I bash my big guys for being soft. And I don't know, maybe that's a thing of the past. I mean, J.J. definitely had my back there. So right now, I'm looking at the coach or whoever brought him in like, hey, you might have knew what you was doing, guy. I thought you was a dumbass, but maybe not. So, I mean... I don't want to tell Chip this, and I really downplayed it and said, oh, no big deal. I'm not worried about the matchup. But I am a tad bit worried about the matchup. Because, look, even though Kobe's getting older, I'm a rookie, and I'm so much of a scrub. I've only really been working on my shooting. So guess what? I'm slow as a turtle. My handles are whack, and my vertical is ridiculous. The only person I'm jumping higher than right now is probably Yao Ming. I mean, Yao is like 8 foot 19. And when he dunked, you'd be like, oh, damn, y'all got up. But when you go back and look, when y'all dunks, his foot is only like an inch or two off the court. Like, y'all cannot jump. If he could jump a little bit, he would be smashing on fools. But he can't. And I can't either. So, I mean, defensively, I'm kind of worried about staying in front of Kobe. Uh, don't tell Chip, though. So, I mean, you see here, Kobe's really playing it aggressively. And uh, 
it's tough to stay in front of them. I mean, this is Kobe Bryant, y'all. This is not college anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. This is the real deal. So, I expected him to get points. Nobody, oh my God. I didn't expect him to just take the ball from me. I know I said my handles was whack, but I'm still a guard. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not. And just like that, at this point in the game, I'm a tad bit worried. I mean, I feel like I can score with anybody, but oh my God, he ran by me again. And thank God, I don't know if it was J.J. Hickson or Channing Fry, but somebody in there is playing big, and that's what I've been asking for since the beginning of the season. If you're 6'10", 6'11", 7 foot, play like you 6'10", 6'11", or 7 foot, please. And here's another display of Kobe being Kobe. So, I mean, that up and under is so tough to defend in NBA 2K12. If you don't jump at the up, they'll release it there. So, if you jump at the up, they won't release it, and then they'll kill you with the under. So, I mean, pick your poison. They pretty much the best thing. Wait, hold on, y'all. Rainmaker. Kobe, I know you heard about the Rainmaker, and if you haven't, you're going to hear it tonight. At the end of this game, win, lose, or draw, Kobe Bryant is going to have some respect for K-Spade, the prospect. That is the deal. I'm going to make sure that he respects me. And, um, I mean, I want the win, but the win, you know, I can't get the win by myself. I'm not good enough for that yet. I'm going to eventually be good enough that I can just come out here and tell my four teammates, you know what, go, go to the concession stand and get some popcorn. I got this, one on five. But right now, I need some help, and I don't know if I got it, so we'll see. But whether I have it or not, I, I want to get the respect from Kobe. I do respect Kobe, and, you know, I want it back. So I come back. Nice little up fake there, and uh, I finished. So, at this point, Lakers got a small lead, but we're definitely in it. I mean, de wait, hold on, hold on. Rainmaker, Kobe, come on out here and catch you some of these dollar bills, man. Come on. I know you want them. You might have to buy another I'm sorry ring in the future. Who knows? You better be catching all of these you can catch. So, uh, great play there. I'm going to explain why I got shook so bad. He's so much faster. Wait, hold on, y'all. Listen and to this. Welcome, everyone, to the HP Halftime Report. Right. We're in the heart of the NBA season. Let's keep the beat. The Lakers are looking good at the midway point. Hey, look, I... They're trying to close in on the eighth best record in the conference. A win here would give it to them. Kobe scoring with ease against the Suns' D. Well... 13 points, and the defense has been rock solid. And giving it their all, the Phoenix Suns. Great unselfish play. They're making the extra pass. That's what we do. Steve Nash getting it done early. He's picked up four points, and he's stacking up the assist, too, keeping the defense off balance with his pass. Let's go, now we have Kobe. we two players leading the charge for their teams in the scoring department. Okay. So me and Kobe match up point-wise. He's done some extracurricular things that I haven't done. You know, kudos to Kobe. Comes right back with the up and under that I just straight up cannot defend. I mean, I don't care what I do. I can't defend it. Uh, you know, I gave it my all. But it's all good. But look at this. A, a great game for me. I swear nobody ran the court with me. I just didn't want to get dunked on. <laughs> and I come right back and show them that I can attack the basket and be aggressive as well. I get to the line and convert there. But um, look at the score. What has happened? I mean... Now, I'm doing my job. I'm holding Kobe to, you know, uh, I'm not going to say he's having an off night because he's definitely not. But, I mean, if I'm containing Kobe, who the hell, who's killing us? Who is killing us out here? But, actually, I'm going to be honest. I know who's killing us. Uh, Shannon Brown is way too athletic for Steve Nash. Especially, wait, hold on, y'all. Brainmaker, let's get it, Kobe. Anyway, especially old Steve Nash, like Shannon Brown was giving him the business. And I go back trying to work the post again, and I'm going to say, Kobe's not having it. So if you was thinking, you know what, I got Kobe on the schedule in a couple of weeks, I'm going to take him to the post. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, he's really not having that. And if you get by him, he's definitely got some help. And wow, look at this shot. I really should have dropped money on that shot. Kobe, hold your head up, man. It'll be better days. Kobe just dropped his head, and now they finna hit me with the Florida recount. They're not sure if I made it. Did I make it? Did I not? Let's see. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Look, if this official comes away from that computer screen and tells me anything other than basket counts, 
I'm probably going to lose it because at this point, I'm upset. I'm really upset that we getting beat like we are, and that's a beautiful poster. As long as you don't put the scoreboard up there. If you just show me hitting that fadeaway shot on Kobe, you know what? Somebody make that a poster and send it to me. I'm putting it on my wall. All right, so you see, I'm doing my job. I'm holding Kobe to 17. I mean, you know, it's the fourth quarter. Kobe got 17 points. How are we losing? So, I mean, I'm going to be honest, y'all. At this point, I'm checking out because I already know that it doesn't matter what I do. We're going to lose. And I'm already worried that Chip is going to get me in the post-game interview. And he better not have that old ass. NBA 08 wallpaper behind me, or I'm going to lose it. Would you say that Kobe got the best of you tonight, K-Spade? Uh, I mean, Kobe didn't get the best of me. I mean, Kobe had a good game. I had a good game. You know, Lakers won. Whatever. Next question, man. Next question. K-Spade, what do you think you could have done differently to change the outcome of tonight's game? I don't know. Maybe I could have been one of the other teammates that didn't make a shot. I feel like I did everything I could have done. I mean, I, I can't put the weight of this loss on me solely. It's not just my fault. So how do you feel after the loss? How do I feel? You know what, Chip Bayless? You have never given me a fast shake. You don't know shit about basketball. GSPN should fire you. You can't even interview me no more. This shit is over. You know what? Before I leave, rainmaker. Rainmaker. Rainmaker.